Welcome to the Origin Summer Preview with the Dice Tower. In this series, we look at recently released and upcoming games for summer 2014. And now, recorded live at Origins 2014, here's your host, Ryan Metzler. I'm Ryan Metzler, and we're back with the Origins 2014 Summer Preview. Today I'm here with Tom Cleaver, who's going to be showing us Valley of the Kings from uh, AEG. So he's publishing this through Alderac Entertainment. Uh, Tom, how are you doing today? I'm just fine. How about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Right so here. tell us a little bit about Valley of the Kings. Well, uh, Valley of the Kings is a game about ancient Egypt. And I've tried to make it as historically accurate as possible, consistent with good gameplay. Okay. So we've got... Everybody's got to have a tomb. You got to bury your people you gotta, somewhere. You got to bury people, but not only that, but the uh, the people of Egypt believed that you got to keep all the stuff that you buried in your tomb. But well, you need it in the next life. Mm, that's right. And so the, this game is all about stocking your tomb with the best kind of artifacts for the afterlife. And we'll start off with. Um, Building, everybody gets a, everybody gets a set of ten starter cards. Okay, they're all the same. And then you build the pyramid. And I'll build it so that the camera can see it clearly. Probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, the pyramid is where you uh, get cards to improve your deck. Okay, so this is a small deck building game. Yes, it's a deck building game for sure. Um, and the idea is, is to get these artifacts into your tomb. Excellent. Okay, so we have different kinds of artifacts that people might want to have. Mm -hmm. Statues uh, of the gods. There were books of uh, hieroglyphics, which were magic spells to help you in the afterlife. Okay. Um, sacred and magical amulets to protect you. Um, canopic jars ah, to yes. hold your vital organs. Gonna need those later. Yeah. Uh, so certain special kinds of artifacts like this uh, Ka figurine, which is something like the uh, Egyptian soul. Okay. And you'll need a sarcophagus. Okay. So how do we get these cards into our deck? Okay. Uh, every card has uh, a price. Oh, sure. So this one costs four. If you have it in your hand, it's worth two gold for the purpose of buying cards. Okay. Or you could use the card for its action value, those okay. actions that you can do. Or once per turn, you can take a card and put it into your tomb. Ah, okay. So there's always a balance between, do I want these good cards in my hand so I can sure. do things with them, or do I want them in the tomb where they're going to eventually score points? Yeah, do I want a lot of money in order to get more cards, or am I going to want to try and score at the end of the game, and when do I make that decision? Exactly right. Let's take, uh, starting from the beginning of the game, where we have laid this out, I have one more card to lay out. This is the Boneyard. Okay. And that's a sort of a discard, discard a general pile. discard pile. And this is the stock. Okay. Everybody has access to the stock. And of course, everybody has access to his own so deck, deck of, cards. of cards. This play, this game plays with, with uh, two to four players. And uh, if there weren't four players, we'd just put some back in the box. Sure. And the, the game plays in about 45 minutes, and it really doesn't matter how many players there are. Because of the mechanics of the game, it takes about the same amount okay. of time regardless. So, let's say I'm the first player and I draw a hand of five cards all right. after shuffling, of course. Yeah, of course. And I look at my cards and I see that they're all pretty crummy, and because that's the way it is when you start out. Always start with bad cards. Mm -hmm. Got to get better ones. <laughs> and let's say I'd like to buy the middle sarcophagus. Okay. It costs four. Okay. Well, I've got four gold here, so I can buy that, and it would go into my discard pile. Okay. To get shuffled again later, I suppose. To get shuffled into my deck later on. Right, exactly. And these are going to be shuffled into my deck Absolutely. later, too. They're not used up. Sure. I've got one extra card. It's only worth one. Mm -hmm. I can't really buy anything with one. Oh, I forgot. I forgot an important step. As soon as I buy this, the pyramid crumbles. Okay. And that means that the higher things in the higher rows 
slide down. Slide down. And you're going to, I assume, refill the top row. I'm going to refill the top row, but not until the end until of the Until the end of the round. All right. I'm only allowed to buy things in the bottom row. Okay. But now this card is sitting in the bottom row, available for purchase. All right. Okay. So that was the pyramid crumbling. Now I've got this extra card. I can't buy anything with it, but I can do its action. It says, put the top card of your discard pile on top of your deck. Hey. Get it right back immediately. That's better than waiting until you have to shuffle it through. Exactly. Or I could say, well, maybe instead I just want to entomb this card, because I can do this once a turn, and that has two good, two good things about it. One, it gets me a victory point. Sure. And the other is that it improves my hand by getting rid of some of the crap. <laughs> okay? Yep. It's the end of my turn, and so... The next, we refill, we rebuild the tournament, mm -hmm. uh, pyramid, we build the pyramid, and the next player is ready to go. All right, and they take a turn much in the same way, going through five cards, using either the abilities or the money on their card, stashing a card if they want to into their pyramid, yeah. and then continuing on to the next turn, and that player is going to go. Let's uh, let's look at some of the actions, because that's a lot Absolutely. of the fun of the game, yeah. is about the actions that are on the card. Here's one that says uh, each opponent discards a card. So if you used it for its action instead of just cash value, you pretty much know what that does. Yep, kind of attacking all the other players. Mm -hmm. This one says discard a card and take a card of the same set as the discarded card. Oh. So for example, okay. if I had these cards in my hand yep. and I decide, oh, I'm going to discard the middle sarcophagus, I could pick up another sarcophagus. Ah, and you can take that even one. if it's not all the way at the bottom, so you can kind of get them out of turn in this way, so that That's you don't right. have to wait for it to crumble down. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, and this one, uh, this one says, repeat an action you executed this turn. Well, I think we know what that means. You mm -hmm. can do something twice. Absolutely. This says, reveal the top three cards of your deck, discard one, and tune one, Put one on top of an opponent's discard pile. Now, does that count for an extra entomb for your turn? Can you entomb a second one then? That's right. Ah. So this would, you get a regular free entombment, yep. but there are other cards that allow you to do more. So I'll have to discard one, entomb one, and put one on top of an opponent's discard pile. Kind of cluttering almost, up their deck. All those things could be good. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, what else do we have? Um, the uh, Book of Traversing Eternity. If you bought a card this turn, take another card with a lower cost. Okay. So if I had bought this card, which cost six, I might be able to take this card, which cost four, this card, which cost five, for free. Sure. After having done that. Um, finally, this one says, put a card from your hand on top of an opponent's d deck and draw cards. Mm -hmm. So a way of get, getting rid of poor cards. Sure. And cluttering up your opponent's deck at the same time. So so this will continue until all these cards are gone and all these cards are gone. Okay, so the entire pyramid has to go away. Yes, and everybody takes the same number of turns. Okay, so it finishes up the turn or the round. Yes. Yeah. I should point out that at the beginning of the game, during the setup, there are two kinds of cards. Well, there are three kinds of cards. There's the Set cards one. Sure. These 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 uh, basic cards, mm -hmm. which are level one. There's level two cards, okay. which are shuffled, and level three cards, which are shuffled and put on top of that. Okay, and it has so a progression that yeah. kind of continues throughout the game, I suppose, yeah. to make the cards better. Yeah, the cheaper cards come out first, sure. and then later on the more expensive cards. Kind of guarantees the flow of the game a little bit, but has mm -hmm. a randomization within that. So. So I'm hopeful this will get Game of the Year. Okay. And uh, Looking for the Spiel the Arts yeah. nomination. And I appreciate your uh, interviewing me. Yeah, about thank this. you very much for showing me. Now, where is the game in, uh, in its production process? Is it already available? Is it, uh... It's uh, being released tomorrow. Tomorrow, officially. Yes. Okay. Yeah. At, uh, that, that's 12th of June at uh, Origins. Well, the, uh, this video will come out after that, mm -hmm. but it should be available to, uh, for distribution at that point. People can definitely go and check it out. So Good. Uh, thank you for your time, and thank you for showing us Valley of the Kings. Thank you Have for a great convention. interviewing me. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us for the rest of our summer preview videos. We'd like to thank Gamma.
and Origins for making these videos possible. And we hope that all of you have fun gaming. See you next time.